I'm Mike. And I'm Allie at Mike and Allie's Vintage at eBay and Etsy.com. And we're joining you to show you some of the interesting and neat things we've been selling lately in our eBay and Etsy stores. So we thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you'll like this video. And please make sure that you will thumbs up, like it, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And if you have any questions about anything, please let us know below in the comment section. Also, we'll have our uh, Etsy store and eBay store listed in the description. But right now, let's get on with the show, and let's show you what's been selling in our stores. Let's do it. So the first listing we have is from our Etsy shop, and this was a book that was from 1956, The Complete Etiquette by Francis Benton. This is a vintage hardcover book of lifestyles and manners, and uh, we have sold several of these type of books that are having to do with old manners from the years gone by or etiquette, and we enjoy finding these, and they seem to sell well for us, so that's the first one. And that one sold for... Uh, around $29, <laughs> okay. I think. It didn't show it on it there. It didn't show it. Okay. Uh, this one is another one we sold recently on Etsy. Uh, this one I know sold for like $29. Famous Trees in Texas. It's a hardcover, and it was uh, issued by the Texas Forest Service, uh, first edition vintage, as you can read as I'm saying it. Uh, but it uh, does come, I think, from around 1971. Uh, and what it is is actually trees that played a part in Texas's history. So it's just not like famous variety of trees or anything like that. There's actual stories behind the trees, sometimes tragic, sometimes triumphant. And uh, it's uh, a book you wouldn't expect to find in North Carolina, but we found it and we sold it to somebody in Fort Worth, Texas. So thank you for that sale, whoever you are. And actually that book sold very quickly since we listed quickly, it. Yeah. It sold very quickly. I was surprised. So the next item I have for you from our Mike and Allie's Vintage on Etsy is this trinket box. This was a floral trinket box, porcelain, um, the magnetic kind with a bunny on top and also had a, a bee. bunny rabbit. <laughs> she named it George. And I wouldn't say necessarily this was um, real, really old or vintage, you know, may have been from the 90s, but uh, we had lots of views on this and sold that one rather easily. And I also have in our upcoming, um, well, our recent Christmas video, um, another trinket box that is the Nutcracker. So, hey, they seem to get great views, and we were glad we sold it. And it's heavy, too. I know, because I packaged it. And, uh, yeah, you could throw that at somebody and do some damage. wouldn't be too good, but... Back to our Texas theme, we've got this uh, Texas road map from 1976, uh, one of the road maps that the State Department of Highways put out. And you can tell, of course, uh, 1976 having a bicentennial theme. Uh, this one went for, I think, around uh, $19, and uh, it was in pretty good shape. There was a little bit of, little bit of uh, damage to it. Not, not surprising. I mean, it's a 40-some-year-old road map, and you know how road maps can easily get banged up. Uh, but all in all, pretty good shape, and uh, it's actually going back to its home in Texas. I was surprised how fast that sold and how much interest we have on our old road maps like that. So those People have like been road maps. The vintage look, um, the retro look to it, and I love them. The next one we have from our Etsy shop was the official tartan map of the tartans. And uh, I, I just thought this was so cool. I wish I could have it with me now. I could open it up and show you. Because what it was, was uh, it says map. Well, here's a picture. Mike's going to show you some of the pictures. Once you opened it up like a map, then it had all of the different plaid tartan patterns. And uh, it gave you real specific instructions, not instructions, but details of each plaid. And I just thought it was fabulous with the information. And um, our area is known for Scotch-Irish, and we have the Highland Games up in Boone, North Carolina. So this was really interesting to me and uh, didn't take too long to sell that. And that was from 1970s. So, hey, you know, yeah, you'd around, be surprised what sales. But, around 1976, yeah. I think. okay. And one more from the Etsy store, uh, this pair of manuals, chassis manuals for 1971 Chevrolet vehicles. Uh, as you can see, one of them was for the general line of passenger cars and pickup trucks. 
while the other one uh, specifically dealt with Chevelles, Monte Carlos, Novas, Camaros, and Corvettes, back when cars were really cars. And uh, these went for about uh, $49 for both of these. So uh, somebody, I'm guessing, maybe is going to do some restoration work or maintenance mm -hmm. work on some vintage Chevys, and that's going to be perfect for that. And those type of manuals, the old classic car manuals, do sell very well for us. Because, you know, there's people, again, they do restoration work, and they, uh, you know, can mm -hmm. use that bit of information. Right. Onto our eBay store, this is one of the most recent things we've sold, and uh, this one didn't last very long either. The History of the Pennsylvania Railroad. Uh, this was a book that came out in the 1980s. You can see we sold it for $18. And it, it's a great book. I unfortunately didn't really get a chance to look through it real close before it sold, but it covered the entire history of the Pennsylvania Railroad up through the Penn Central era after they merged with the New York Central and New Haven up into the early days of Conrail. And rail fans know all about that story. They know what the mess Penn Central was and everything. But uh, still, it's a great book. And uh, if you're a rail fan, if you ever run across a copy, pick it up because uh, it's got some great history in it, some great photographs in it as well. Mm -hmm. The next one is a vintage movie 8 or Super 8 millimeter mm -hmm. sound or silent inch reel. So uh, I found this in the bins and I said, Mike, check this out. And him coming from a radio broadcasting and he loves photography. He knows more about this. It surprises me again. <laughs> this <laughs> sold, and it wasn't around with us very long, no, I don't think. So we sold that one for twenty seven ninety nine. And we have no idea what's on it because we no. have no projector to we, play it on. And then amazing, we had no projector to play that on. We have no idea, but yeah. hey, they sell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So hopefully the person that bought it, apparently yeah. they have one. Yeah. So. Uh, back to some uh, railroading stuff, model railroading to be specific, uh, a set of Atlas HO scale straight tracks, uh, code 100, uh, 30 pieces, different sizes, including four bumper pieces, which I have to admit I was very tempted to keep for mm -hmm. my own pike, although I actually have some bumpers that I just need to build to put into it sometime. Maybe one of the future videos, we'll take a look at the layout, but uh, these sold uh, for $32.99. And uh, somebody uh, is going to be doing some work. These were new pieces, too. I don't think they had ever been ran. The next item is Best of Dean Martin Variety Show. Do you remember the Dean Martin Variety Show? I do, I do from when I was a kid. These are DVDs. Me too. And this was, uh, the you know, vintage television. So, and they were sealed. So we were so delighted to get those. We did take a best offer at $16.50. Mm -hmm. um, and... They did sell fairly quickly, so... Uh, well, everybody loves Dino. Yeah, I mean, I actually kind of love to have kept those, but anyway... Well, we actually have them on VHS. Oh, we do. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we have a VHS All right, but we player. love anything with a rack pack, so, you know, yes. that's us. There you Moving go. Moving along. Uh, next up, we've got uh, actually not one, but two Massey Ferguson uh, tractor brochures from the 1990s. And uh, they both sold for nineteen ninety nine. This particular one uh, covered the twelve hundred series that they were producing at the time, and uh, the other one right here was the bigger boys, the sixty one hundred and the eighty one hundred series. And uh, same person bought both of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the life of me, I can't remember where they were located. I so, don't remember either. Uh, I want to say New Jersey, but I don't know that's correct. But anyway, got some Massey Ferguson fans out there. And if you check our store, we've got some more Massey Ferguson mm -hmm. brochures still back into the 1980s even. And for those of you that don't know, Mike actually grew up on a farm in Indiana. so But with no Masseys. <laughs> but he absolutely <laughs> loves um, anything to do that vintage farm equipment, uh, in, you know, agriculture, uh, advertising, brochures, any farm history. So that's his, his thing. Yeah. So the next item we have here in eBay was Franny and Zoe by J.D. Selinger. This was a 1961 hardback, and uh, we sold that one for $19.99. And do you know what else this author happened to write? Well, he's most famous, of course, for Catcher in the Rye. Yes. Ah, we got more model railroading here for you. <laughs> Chicago and Northwestern, remember them? Uh, this is an ore car, HO scale. I don't think it's ever been ran. It was still in the package. Uh, it's uh, from Bachman, and uh, $21.99 the total for that. Of course, 
rail fans like myself or remember the Chicago and Northwestern. It was a great railroad. It's part of the Union Pacific now, and uh, that happening back in the 1990s. So that went to a new home. Somebody's running it on their pike now. Okay, and next we have in our eBay store that we sold was a Woolrich Men's Small Green Plaid with the faux fur jacket. Uh, we checked the white label on this, and this was vintage, and we took an offer of $65, and uh, it was a, in excellent condition, actually. We had a lot of people interested in it. I think the thing that it took us probably close to a year or less than a year yeah, to sell. probably since last winter. And the issue was it was small. So actually, we think maybe a woman bought it. Uh, but hey, if you can ever find the Woolrich plaid jackets, um, they're definitely worth your time. You know, just make sure they're in good condition. So uh, that was a great sale. Yes. Wearing a Woolrich white label while drinking a Carling black label. I think that sounds like a, a good deal right there. Uh, here's the one more from the <laughs> Lifelike Tootsie. Uh, it's called a Tootsie Roll boxcar from Lifelike. You know, Tyco was best known for doing all these uh, train cars with the, uh, I guess you'd say sponsors, because I'm sure they paid to have them made. Uh, but Lifelike did a few of those as well. And this one, I think, is probably early 1980s, late 1970s. It's a HO scale 50-foot boxcar. And uh, it was still in train set mode, let's call it, with the truck mounted horn hook couplers. But uh, anybody that's big into model railroading like myself knows those are easily replaced by the KD knuckle couplers. You can cut them old ones off and glue the new ones onto the body. It runs as good as anything. $16, best offer accepted for that one. Next, we have Roads of the 94th by Frederick, Frederick Nelson Lytton. And it's a vintage hard book for at night, uh, excuse me, hard book that was dated at 1933. So we took an offer, $18, for this book. And we love to sell vintage books. I'm telling you, they have done very well for us. In fact, I think we sold this one fairly quickly, too. Yeah, it didn't last too long. Surprised me. It's one of yeah. them that went pretty quickly. Uh, next up, we've got uh, the Kodak. Kodak. <laughs> Oh, where that come from? I'm not the only one tongue I know twisted. of a Modoc. There's a <laughs> little wide spot in the road in Indiana, but uh, Kodak, Kodak Ready File Slide Storage Container. Uh, these are 1960s era, and uh, you can store extra slides in them. Uh, this one went for $19.99. This one, I think, was just a solo one that it sold. Uh, we've got some lots of them available, too, in our store. You can mm -hmm. uh, click over there when the video is done and uh, check some of those out as well. And Mike does very well selling uh, vintage photography items. And so. there's still a lot of us out there that like our slides. Yeah. Oh, I love this item. This was sold just recently. We had lots of views on this. I found this at a state sale, this finished pineapple cr um, cross-stitch sampler. And uh, the wood frame was in excellent shape. It was a very unique piece, and I was so glad um, that we were able to get it to a new home. Sold it for best offer, $70. Um, this was hard for me to give up because it was just so strikingly beautiful and in great condition. So... Um, thank you, buyer, and I hope it's. I hope she loves it as much as I do. But we do real well with our needlepoint uh, cross stitch type finished pieces. And that's one that's been featured on a couple of the videos previously as mm -hmm. well. So maybe it was somebody that saw the video. Uh, here's another book that went pretty quickly from the time of listing: A Pictorial History of Wrestling. Uh, this is a hardcover book from 1969, and the interesting thing about this book, it covered the entire history of wrestling, both amateur wrestling as well as what we would call now the professional wrestling entertainment, and uh, it has a lot of pictures in it, and uh, it went for $28, so uh, a great buy for somebody who's into that kind of uh, thing, and uh, they got to, like I said, get the complete history at least up through the late 1960s. These are women's bandolino gold pump high heel shoes this was a great shoe had a lot of interest and it did take a long time to sell which i'm kind of surprised um, because there was just enough bling and there was a lot of cushion and comfort in that shoe i just thought it was gorgeous really for any age but we sold those for 1650 just to move those along but they did take a long time to sell and you never know what's going to sell fast mm -hmm. or what's going to sell quick 
we get surprised all the time. Here's something I actually thought might sell a little quicker than it did. Uh, these are a set of Long Farm Equipment sales brochures for their uh, disc harrows. Long was a farm equipment company based here in uh, North Carolina in the city of Tarboro. And uh, again, that's something I thought might sell a little bit quicker, but it, it took a while, but it did sell. We took a best offer of $18 for these. And also one more from the world of model railroading, and this is another one of those things that we get sometimes that I was so tempted to keep for myself. I loved how, <laughs> I loved how whoever had this originally did the weathering job on it. Just it was just such a nice job. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, this is a banger and a rustic forty foot reefer, uh, HO scale. It was uh, offered through AHM, so this would date it at least early eighties, if not older, uh, and uh, great. Great deal. They got a best offer of fourteen ninety nine for it, so it's found a new home on somebody's railroad pike somewhere. And last but not least, uh, our latest sale, actually, as we record mm -hmm. this, uh, a brick trowel. It's a vintage one. I'm not sure exactly how old it is. Uh, there's a story behind it. We found it in her father's garage, or not garage, or shed, his shed, uh, amongst a bunch of old tools. And uh, so he had like a hundred trowels, I think, but uh, this was sold for twelve ninety nine, literally today as we record this. Uh, I don't know if somebody's going to actually use it for trowel work or maybe for artwork or maybe just a collection or display piece or something like that. Yes, and we do sell a lot of vintage uh, hand tools, so those those have done well for us. And that's for all those purposes too. Mm -hmm. You hear, and that's what we have to date sold through eBay and Etsy, and uh, we're always selling. Once again, look down there in the description area. Um, we have our uh, links to both the eBay and Etsy stores. You can go there and see all the items we have. Some of the items are on both. Some of the items are only on one or the other. And we hope you enjoy seeing what has been selling in our stores lately. So make sure that you do subscribe and click the notification bell. And thank you, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.